Okay, so here we are again with Black Desert Online, and welcome to the Tarka Zone. This is my second video on the subject of beer production, but this video is going to focus more about the RNG elements of it. So I'm going to show you as I open up my inventory, there's a few items that I've got here in addition to beer as I'm making it. One of the items you get here is the Cool Draft Beer. And that is a step higher than the beer. It brings back more stanima when it is consumed for your workers. It's just a higher quality. So it takes less of the cool draft beer to get your workers back up to the 100% mark so you can send them off into the field. That RNG, as I could, I've noticed as I have done this, is around the, uh, the cooking level that you've got. Seems like the higher the cooking level that you have, the more the cool draft beer will be made. It is in addition to the already the beer that you're making. Now as for the other RNG elements to the beer crafting, you get these dishes. This is a uh, dish with more ingredients. You get the uh, the weird texture. You get the takeout food. You get the strongly seasoned dish and then you got the poorly prepared ingredients. In my last video I really focused on the poorly prepared ingredients but I will just highlight what is the importance of handing these dishes are instead of just vendoring them to the um, vendor across the way. And as you can see, my gentleman has stopped doing his thing. I only took a few items so that you could see at this point. We've done the beer process. We, we're now happy with the, um, the items that we've got in our inventory. And now we're going to go to the NPCs. So you can go to these NPCs by just hovering over right clicking and saying NPC location and in here as you can see the auto pathing is going to take me through the city so I'm going to hit T and yes we're going to watch my this alt of mine as I was saying before as I do most of my beer crafting with my alternate characters this way their their labor is is giving me the bit the biggest bang for my buck and as you will see, when we start turning these dishes in, what it is that you actually get for your efforts. Now I'm going to stop the auto, I'm going to just manually move now and I get a little skipping going on. Well, I can sprint, so you don't have to wait forever for me to get there. So here for that dish that I had right clicked on, this is the NPC. So we're going to talk to this NPC and they want to exchange the the um, dish with the more ingredients for the beer. So we want to send them all in. So as you can see, this 200, or actually a total of 428 of them, and I'm going to say yes, I'm going to hit continue, and the trade has been done. So as you can see, now in my inventory, I've got 307 beer. And that was just for the RNG elements of making the beer. So, as you can see, you know, that's, that's well worth it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one and go to the NPC location. And because I've done this before, I know one of the NPCs is right here in front of me. So, it's just finding the dish that they want. I'm just going to talk to them, and they're going to want the takeout food. So, if we were to go back to my inventory and highlight over takeout food, and ask for the NPC, as you can see right there. So both two of the dishes are right here, right next to each other. And I'm going to exchange that, those in. And what this is, I'm going to exchange 77 for, um, do you want to exchange them? This is going to give me cooking experience. So say yes, I want the cooking experience. And as you can see, I just cooked my level, just went up in cooking. Now that's important because as this character progresses in cooking, he's going to get better RNGs of the cool draft beer. Now the other one that we have here is a seasoned dish. Look for the that was the one I had just done prior to here and hit T. And let's look at the map. The seasoned dish is here at the bottom of Hide L. You know, we just have to go. I guess we could have gone there first instead of you know. Either way, I've auto path 
and again, I'm not going to go over the poorly prepared ingredients. That was in my other video. That is the one that's the most important. That is the vendor that gives you the contribution points. And that is the farm. Before I end this video, I will show you what that pin is, but I'm not going to walk it. Because again, this is just my second video explaining the elements of the beer making that I did not want to put in to that first video and as we're coming up to the NPC here we are so we'll just talk to that NPC Whoop, I clicked on the wrong NPC here so they're so tight together and this is the exchange for milk okay and I'm gonna say yes I want to exchange it for the milk so here I've gone to those locations. I'm again, I like I said I would do. I'm going to ping for that NPC for the poorly dish, poorly prepared dish. And as it was in my other video, it's over here on this farm and you exchange those dishes in for contribution experience, which then equate for contribution points. Now, I want to go up to the um, marketplace just to show you how much money you could be making at this because one of the trade-ins gave us all that beer we exchanged the dishes for beer so if I go to marketplace and I want my registry I want to register the, that 300 beer might as well just throw it up there right because it was all extra gain I want to confirm that that's almost a half a million silver just for the RNGs in a little bit of the beer I, I produced while we I was explaining the middle, you know, in the beginning of this video. But as you can see, the dishes themselves allow you to maximize the beer production. So I hope this helps and thank you for joining me here at the Tarkas Zone.